my fellow Americans. Today is a day that will go down in infamy. Uh, uh, millions of Americans without uh, uh, health care, getting sick, uh, losing their jobs, no unemployment insurance. Uh, uh, but Bernie Sanders uh, uh, will, will continue to fight for you. Just uh, as soon as you bend the knee to a man with dementia and, and facing critical uh, 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 bad touch allegations. <laughs> Welcome back to Chrome Judgment, everybody. And uh, today's a day that will go down in infamy. For the second time, Bernie Sanders is bending the knee to the establishment. Uh, uh, good, good on you, Bernie. Uh, 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 welcome, welcome to the end of the revolution. <laughs> oh man. Please, guys, before we begin this video, special thank you. Uh, we finally surpassed 500 subscribers. Uh, uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, uh, leave a like on the video. Drop a comment. Even if that comment is, Crow, 500 subscribers is nothing. You need you need 5,000 subscribers, and, and then we'll talk about hitting that subscribe button. Uh, I, I think there's unrealistic standards for this channel uh, uh, as of right now, but uh, let's aim for the sky, and uh, I appreciate all comments because they're great for the YouTube algorithm. So, as you can see on the screen here, Bernie Sanders, Today, I'm suspending my campaign, but while the campaign ends, the struggle for justice continues on! Uh, but, but... <laughs> uh, just not for you. Just not for the Bernie Bros. It is officially over. I, I did a couple videos a while back as uh, Bernie was getting just totally slammed uh, during the Super Tuesday um, primary votes. Uh, he absolutely never recovered, and uh, I, I know there's a lot of really, really upset Bernie Bros. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at a few tweets, um, but it, it's Bernie's own fault. You know, he was never able to consolidate any support behind him. I, I'm not talking about uh, Elizabeth Warren uh, uh, constantly like just getting into these little petty spats. Uh, and refusing to uh, endorse Bernie Sanders. I I'm talking about not being able to reach out to the Tulsi Gabbard's. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard had incredibly progressive politics behind her. And a lot of people on the right like her because she's honest, but she's incredibly progressive on, on social programs. A lot of the same things Bernie's for. Uh, back in 2016, she even stepped down from the DNC because of what Democrats were doing to Bernie Sanders. She killed her entire political career with the Democrats by doing that. And Bernie never spoke up in defense of her. Uh, Andrew Yang, right? UBI. Uh, he's not at all. <laughs> like a lot of people confuse him as being very similar uh, to uh, Comrade Sanders, but he's not. And the way his support, the way Sanders supporters went after the Yang supporters ensured that there was never going to be any uh, unity there. Uh, this is day in, day out. He could never consolidate support behind him. His uh, supporters were incredibly vocal, incredibly nasty, um, and just <laughs> uh, some of the most dogmatic people you will ever find in politics. But here's the problem. Uh, for, for every single Democrat. Uh, Biden is your nominee! Joe Biden! Oh my gosh. Uh, as soon as Bernie Sanders dropped out, Donald Trump uh, came out with this tweet. Bernie Sanders is out. Thank you to Elizabeth Warren. If not for her, Bernie would have won almost every state on Super Tuesday. This ended just like the Democrats and the DNC wanted. Same as the crooked Hillary fiasco. Very similar, it's not, it's not a lie. The Bernie people should come to the Republican Party. Trade. Ouch. Uh, this uh, Eugene guy, um, the one who gets uh, incredibly triggered uh, because Donald Trump blocked him. He sued to get Donald Trump to unblock him, and Eugene Gu uh, blocks a ton of people now. <laughs> but Bernie Sanders may be out, but this attempt to turn Sanders supporters against Warren Democrats to ignite another contingent, contentious civil war within the Democrat Party is not going to work, no matter how much infighting there may be during the primary season. All of that is done now. You think so? You think so, Mr. Eugene Gu? Oh boy, let's take a look at some trending hashtags. Ah, uh, how about F around and find out? 
They should effing panic. No way in hell I will repeat 2016. Hold my nose vote. Believe me when I say, this is just the beginning. Bernie was a tiny part of taking power back. Cheer while you can, neoliberals, because this is the fight of our lives. A revolution is coming. Um. I, uh. <laughs> I looked at this guy. And I, I, I. I know it's 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 mean to make fun of the way someone looks, but if this guy was screaming about a revolution, his little cat <laughs> cat lady sweater. <laughs> oh man, I I not much to fear there. Let's be honest. Ah, uh, we warned you. F around and find out. Not voting for an arpist. Why would you defend a corrupt molester with dementia? I mean, I I've always been saying it. In, in Biden's defense, he, he probably can't even remember what he did. <laughs> oh, you think this is over? You're gonna cry in November when hashtag Joe Biden is arpist loses. Biden loses to Trump. F around and find out. Bernie bros. Ah, uh, more reasons for never Biden. Never Biden, never Trump, never Hillary. F around and find out. Rawr. The, 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 the ever popular hashtag blue no matter who and <laughs> oh boy if you think that you have unity in your party oh boy <laughs> blue no matter who is laughable you fucked around and finding out that progressives care more about policy and political parties who prop up arpis congratulations on supporting a soon to be three times presidential loser ooh spicy Stop telling Bernie supporters to vote for Biden. Biden stands for everything Bernie was against. Being blue no matter who supports the same corrupt system that let Bernie lose in the first place. I'm tired. Please vote for Joe Biden. I hate him with the, with the best of them. But we can't let the Supreme Court get any more conservative or abortion rights and LGBTQIA... Rights are... I always thought the LGBTQ... I, I, I always thought the IA plus thing was a joke, but apparently that, that's a real thing. So, I'm sorry. PSA! Russian trolls are flooding the internet right now, particularly Bernie groups, trying to foment rage and encourage people to stay home in November. Don't fall for this BS! Blue no matter who. I am pre-programmed Russian bot. Tell you, argue Biden is arpist. Vote, vote Trump. Bernie is got cheated <laughs> fuck off like that's i love that this is where they go every single time uh it's 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 the russian bots guys the russian bots they're everywhere they're in my home call the police to whom it may concern if you're not voting for joe biden you're voting for donald trump at me all day long blue no matter who <laughs> Obviously, I'm supporting Joe Biden in November. I recognize Biden's not the best candidate, but we must come together if we are to defeat Donald Trump. With that being said, I hope Bernie Sanders supporters will join us taking back our country back in November. <laughs> no! Why is blue no matter who trending instead of the more accurate? Blue no matter who arps you! Ah! <laughs> Blue, no matter who, you're all some real political geniuses. Really good job finding the one person as repugnant as Hillary. Don't think you could do it, but you always come through. Never Biden. Dem exit. Oh yeah, Dem exit's also trending. Why is Dem exit trending? Because nobody wants this crap on the progressive side. Nobody wants Joe Biden. He okay. Remember, remember, Joe Biden is actually accused. Of, of of arping a female staffer right she's got a time she's got a date she actually filed a complaint against biden um and it's being completely ignored by mainstream uh media it's being completely ignored by establishment uh democrats it's being completely ignored by by feckless weirdos like Alyssa milano um the, all, all of these people remember ran allegation after allegation after allegation against a uh, supreme court justice nominee without ever bothering to get any corroborating evidence <laughs> yeah, but that but that's the way it works guys i i guess i <laughs> 
Ah, uh, so in hashtag Dem Exit, how many elections would have to face the lesser evil paradox before you realize that the logic changes over multiple elections? How many more would it take to see that it's a strategy to scare you away from insisting on having your party represent your interests? Dem Exit. Hillary loses, it's Bernie's fault. Warren loses, it's Bernie's fault. Now it's up to Bernie to get Biden over the edge? If he had all this power, why didn't y'all make Bernie that nominee? This is on y'all. Cope. <laughs> Dem exit, not me, us. Uh, this is in response to David, Ax David Axelrod. Basically stating Bernie is responsible for getting his supporters in order and getting them all march around like, like good little puppets behind Joe Biden, a man with actual dementia. After 36 years as a super voter for the Democrats, I will maintain my registration long enough to vote for Bernie Sanders in, New in the New York primary and will then dem exit. I will never, ever vote for Joe Biden. Y'all don't need us. You and your media made it clear. Dem exit today. Oh, man. Guys, does this seem like unity? Do we have unity right now? Dem exit it is then. Feels great leaving this garbage party. Ouch. I refuse to vote for Joe Biden. I'm not alone. Pass it on. F this bitch! <laughs> we can thank her for harming our movement more than anyone else. Damn exit today! Breaking at Sanders drops out and endorses the warmonging arpist with dementia. Takes all our money and hope and backs another friend of Epstein. Just like 2016. Never Biden. Damn exit. Oh, guys. Guys, it's over. It's it's over. Look, there there are people out there right now who are who are fervent Bernie Sanders supporters who are still trying uh, to keep unity within the party, uh, who are saying like, hey, let's let us let us let's, uh, let, let's all come together, let's let's take a chill, um, and and you, obviously you can't find their tweets anywhere. They exist. <laughs> no, like the hardcore fervent Bernie supporters are pissed. They are angry. They feel like they got cheated in 2016. They feel like they got cheated again by the establishment. And now the establishment is basically telling them, oh, you, you have to get by, uh, behind the guy with dementia uh, uh, who who's credibly accused of, of arping his staffer. Just ignore all that because beating Donald Trump matters more. It's, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. These people do not understand the progressive voters are our ideologues they are puritans look at how heavily they savaged every other campaign look at how they went after the gabbard campaign and their supporters the yang campaign and their supporters the warren campaign and their supporters they were never going to get behind joe biden now your biggest concern isn't so much that uh they're gonna go over to uh to trump and MAGA and any of that stuff there, there have been some studies saying like 15% of the Bernie supporters will vote for Trump. I mean, maybe. I don't think it will be that much, but I do definitely think that they will go ahead and vote for Trump just as a uh, F you to the establishment. It's it's the fact that you just lost thousands, maybe maybe even like a million votes. Uh, uh, <laughs> that 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 is going to swing the scales very heavily into Trump's favor. And, and you did it for, for this. We cannot let this, we've never allowed any crisis from the Civil War straight through to the pandemic of 17, all the way around 16. We have never, never let our democracy take second fiddle. Way that we can both have a democracy and elections and at the same time correct the public health. Anyways, guys, that's the video. You tell me what you think. I just... I, I'm, I'm laughing here. I obviously am. Um, I didn't vote for Trump in 2016. I'll probably vote for him in 2020 just because I have a very good feeling that it is going to be a total landslide sweep for Donald Trump. And <laughs> I'd love to contribute.